All right, welcome everybody. Today's video, we're out here west of Bangkok. We're in Ampawa, and we're uh, right here on the Meklong River, as you can see behind me, this massive uh, river that's over here. And we're gonna go check out the Ampawa Floating Market. Now, the Ampawa Floating Market is one of the most popular. There's the Damnong Saduk and uh, the Ampawa. Those are the two main ones over here in this area. The Damnong Saduk is more of the day type market. Uh, morning, daytime, and the Ampawa is evening, uh, like late afternoon, evening. So we're over here in the evening and we're gonna check out the Ampawa market. Now I was over here probably uh, almost a year ago and it was still, there was a lot of restrictions so there wasn't very many people here. So we're gonna go and see what it looks like today. So uh, we should check out some pretty good food. Now there's a few boat tours, stuff like that. I'm not gonna do the boat tour today because it's uh, getting closer to dark and most of the temples and stuff that it goes to is closed. So we're not gonna do the boat tour but I'll show you kind of around and show you what it is. So uh, let's see what we see. So this is the Mainam Meiklong, or the, uh, the Meiklong River. And you can see it is just uh, massive. And this is in the uh, Ampawa district over here. And the floating market is just over this away. So there's a little bit of uh, stuff built on the shoreline here, government stuff, and there will be some food as we go into the market. All right, so the first thing I see is some of the Goi Young. So this is the grilled banana. They grill it and then they smash it down and then they put like a syrupy sauce on it. Right there's a syrupy sauce. So you can get them for like five baht each. So I'm gonna get some of these and then we're gonna go into the So this is what the goi young looks like. It's just a grilled banana. And it's one of my favorite snacks. And you can see uh, all the food vendors and stuff like that is set up. So we got like the fish, coconut, just the normal stuff. And then right over here, they have the Firefly Tour. So you can do, uh, during the day, they do these five, seven, or nine temples. And you can go, and from the market itself, it leaves, it's uh, 50 baht each, and it's a pretty good deal. There's a little tour, and it's uh, a couple hours that you go. These here, they do the Fireflies. So you can get it for like uh, five people, 500 baht each, seven people, 600 baht each. And it goes, and you can see the Fireflies out amongst the trees and then they go just off the big long towel that's right there. This is pretty neat. The guy's making some uh, handcrafted coconut stuff. So he's, uh, you see he's uh, cleaning out the coconut. He's got the drill, everything right there. And he makes these little flower pots and they're pretty inexpensive. The small little flower pots are 40 baht. And he just makes them right here. So this is going into the town here and you can see everything is lined up on both sides of the little soy. And this is going in. We're not even into the floating market yet. But uh, since it's Thailand, food is everywhere. So you can see they're uh, cutting up some fish here. Here we got some seafood, we got the squid. He's grilling it up right here, the little clams with some cheese. And squid. Oh, it looks like we, uh, he burned the fish there. So we have the squid. And then the white fish. And then uh, over here there's like a little restaurant. Just tons of stuff, and there'll be even more inside of the floating market. Here they have some of the crab, little containers of it. And then a little cook to order kitchen over here. Has all the curries. So you can get whichever, uh, whichever curry you want. Usually eat it over rice. And then some more uh, like a noodle place over there. Wow, that curry smelled fantastic. Jewelry, fish, all the normal stuff that you see in Thailand. Okay, this is kind of an interesting little snack. It's uh, something like kanom lung gung. It's like forget to swollen is like a rough translation. Anyway, it's the coconut milk. And then they have it on the banana leaf and then you just eat it. And it has kind of like the little rice, like the puffed rice on it. So here we have some of the meat on a stick and the roasted corn. This guy over here, he's uh, singing and dancing. And this is a nice little snack. So it's like the little cake and then they have like the foie tong and some other things on top of it. 
And you can get these for uh, 35 baht each, or you can get three for 100. And he's bringing in some more that they just made up. And then you get them in a little ceramic pot. And they have the lids back there. So this looks really, really nice right here. So she has the jelly ice cream, the coconut ice cream, and it has it with the Oreo and a green tea. And you can get it with the uh, like coconut, fresh coconut juice also. This is 35 baht for these. I might have to get some of these later after I find something else to eat. Okay, so here she's making the man come. Has the two little leaves and then she puts all the toppings inside of it. The little shrimp, ginger, onion, lime, and a little bit of the chili sauce. And then she just closes it up and sticks it on the skewer. So she sits here and makes these all day, just like this. So you can get one of these for 20 bucks. So you can see all the food lined up. We got here with some pictures, we have some corn. Lots and lots of food. Now we're just starting to get into the floating market. So we got the fish skin. Here we have some like little shrimp paste things and some crab. And right up here is a little bridge that opens up into the, the floating market. Okay, so here is the canal where the uh, Ampoa floating market is. Then here's the sign, there's the little footbridge, and then there's some more stuff over here. And right over here, this is where you can uh, do the boats also. Everybody getting their picture taken here by the sign. All right, so here's the canal where the Ampoa floating market's at. And you can see there's a lot of boats out here. This uh, market here is famous for the for the boat tours. Everybody, the Thais from Bangkok come over here, also the tourists. And the, uh, the boat tour that does the five, seven, or nine temples is a lot of fun. I did it last time. I'll include a link to the video from whenever I was over here last time. And it also used to have a lot more people selling food out of the boats. You can see some of the ladies over here. We'll go down there and check that out here in a bit. And then it goes out that way. And it, one of these temples you go to is the coolest temple. The ordination hall is being overgrown by uh, the Bodai trees and a couple others. It's the, the coolest looking temple you'll see. It's kind of cool. Some of these old wooden houses that are here kind of around the Ampawa floating market. And then you can see what it looks like on the other shoreline over there. That one's a big one, a three-story one. And then everybody else is in the boat going for a little... Okay, so this is down into the floating market. You can see how busy it is. Have food. It's like shoulder to shoulder. I have some of the craft coffee. I want to see the little boats over here and see what they have. So here we have some fresh seafood. They have the prawns right here. He's digging the prawns out. And he'll cook them up. Digging them out there and then he'll grill them up. So here's the, uh, the shrimp and then the white fish. And they have a nice little restaurant right here. So this is quite cool. So these are the ladies cooking. So she's making the goy tot, like the oyster omelet. And the other woman here, she's grilling up seafood. So they pulled up here and uh, they have a little restaurant right here. And since it's Thailand, you of course have a motorcycle going through. So they, they're grilling the seafood right there and you got the young boy on the boat. And then this is just a restaurant and it's right here on the shore. And there's another boat over there. All right, so more food here on the canal bank. Had a long cow coming in with a loud motor. And you can see this just absolutely shoulder to shoulder down here. Tons of little restaurants. It's hard to film in here, there's so many people. But you can see the old style wooden houses that are here. It's quite cool, I really like this. And uh, all these old houses have been made into uh, restaurants. So they're actually making some of the, like the little, uh, like the dim sum things. So they're making them by hand and they're putting a little pork inside and then they uh, grill them right there. This is kind of cool. And then they're steaming them right there. And there's quite a few people that are lined up to get, out, get some over here. It's like a little assembly line. Here we have some of like the, the deep fried shrimp paste or the shrimp balls. So they're making it over there. And then they, uh, they put it in the breading and then she deep fries it. And you can get one little container. Tarai. 100. Nung Rebat. Okay, so 100 baht for... Uh, one of the little plastic containers, so like three bucks. So right here, he's grilling up these uh, big shrimp, and then he's also grilling up these uh, these big fish. 
and you see they put just a ton of salt on the outside of it and then they stuff like the herbs and everything inside and then they grill them and then what you do is you peel the skin back and you just eat the white flesh right out of it and it's a, actually a pretty tasty uh, food and then here's what it looks like after it's all grilled up and ready to eat so here goes the motorcycle guy back through so anyway here's one of the boat rentals that you can do so 50 baht for 40 minutes and it goes to one one market or uh, one temple and then we got some of the seafood over here this is a cool little restaurant it just opens right up to the canal and then you can see the big motor on that long tow. check that sucker out he's got it all chromed out looking nice he's proud of it and here we got this here's the seafood and then you can see inside the restaurant kind of a cool place to come and eat and then they got the clams and some of the big river prawn. And then here's like the, the salapau. So he, uh, oh, cut out, cut out. So they uh, steam, steam these salapau right here. And then you got the, uh, like the pork or the beans. Okay, so it says it's very good. So 20 baht for the salapau. And then here you get the fish. And some of the long tail guys over here drinking an M150 to stay awake. Most drivers in this country, they pound these like energy drinks or these M150s. They must drink them by the uh, truckload. Keeps them alert. So whenever driving like 14 to 18 hours straight, here we got a nice little restaurant with the uh, like fried rice, all kinds of stuff in here. All right, so this is something that is new. So if you go to the Ban Pak Ampua, it's a homestay. And here's the phone number. She's gonna ask how much the room is. You can stay right here. Here's the, uh, the room and it's right here at the floating market. And then we got some uh, little snacks. Mini curry puff with Thai tuna. Oh, and these are nice. These are a little uh, deep fried peanut snack little peanut cake and they uh, cook those. I really like those, those are nice. And then some more of the, the snacks. We've got a tour boat coming in. This place has just got action, stuff going on all over the place. Uh, and here's some more of these little snacks. These are like some of the coconut, and these are quite cool. I'm not exactly sure what they are, but they put the little flour in them, and then some more. Okay, so I found out how much the uh, homestay was. So the homestay for two people is a thousand baht if you have a community bathroom. It's 1,200 baht if you want your own private bathroom. And it includes breakfast, so you uh, can stay there and have breakfast in the morning, which is a good deal, because usually, you know, you gotta scramble around, try to find something to eat in the morning, and it's just convenient. And you can see all these little restaurants and seating out here on the pier. Yeah, this is great. There's all kinds of stuff here. Yeah, when I came last year, there was hardly anybody at this floating market, so it's nice to see that it's busy again. I know the boat operators and all the vendors here are happy. So here they have some noodles. So you can get 40 baht for those noodles. And then, oh, this is nice. These are like the little peanut snacks. And we got some shirts. You can get you an Ampawa floating market t-shirt. And all of that's back here. And we're all the way down to the end of the pier. So you can get some som tam, some tom yum gung, the shrimp with the, uh, the tom yum noodles. There goes the boat out. And this is the end of the pier. So we'll turn around and go back. This is pretty cool. So this is their old home that they've converted. That's an old, old TV in there. And then uh, check this out. Here's like a little alley to something back there. Probably their uh, kitchen and stuff. And they have some old pictures of the old Ampawa floating market. And it's just the old uh, wooden style house. Very cool. So this is a steamed dessert. And it's one with the green vegetable. It's popular for the ties, but it smells so bad to me. So she just puts them in right there, and then they're going to steam them. And you can get a, can't see the price, oh, it's 60 baht for a little container of it. So a little plastic tub over here for 60 baht. So you wait out there to get your food from this lady. And she cooks it right there on the boat. So you can sit there, it's high tide, so the bottom tables are in, in the water. So you got your feet in the in the canal. And so here's another uh, chicken jar. 
little restaurant, has all the normal stuff, Gapow, all the seafood, some tie-dye shirts, a lot of the boats here. Now here there's no rail or anything, so if you're, uh, if you trip, you're going right into the water. <laughs> that would make for an interesting story. And all the little restaurants over there, boats, and right here in the middle of the floating market is the hardware store. Now in the old days, the floating markets could have been all on the boat, but also the floating markets were built on land a lot of times, and then people would come up to the market. It was kind of like a meeting point, and they called it a floating market. So everybody would meet there, you know, they would come bring their goods by boat to the market, then everybody would come, you know, by land or however to the floating market itself to do their shopping and do their trading. So a lot of times don't expect to come to a floating market and just see everything on boats. There's a nice little restaurant, kind of kind of cool. Got this stuff hanging up on the walls. They have the soups here. And then some more of these uh, little dumplings. And they have the kapow. All right, so I found me a nice little place to sit right here on the river. We, uh, as you can see behind me, this is all the canal. We're gonna have some uh, dinner right here. So the high tide, the water's, uh, you have to kind of step through a little bit of water to get over here, but this is pretty cool. So we're gonna eat up something and keep looking around this floating market. All right, so here's the dinner. We got some uh, kapow, kapow guy with the uh, kai dao, which is uh, like the Thai basil with the uh, fried egg. And then I just got some chicken fried rice. Now I told her no onion, so she gave me absolutely no vegetable, no carrots or anything. <laughs> so whatever, and then we got the cucumbers and everything else. So we're gonna eat this up and we'll look around a little bit more. All right, so this is kind of out of the busy part of the uh, floating market. And it just has all this stuff that goes along the canals quite a bit. So it looks like some uh, homestays here. Kind of a nice little place. Room Quest, hospitality management. And then there's uh, like a little uh, walking street all the way along the canal. And it's on both sides of the, uh, the canal. Nice over here. So these are their little businesses and they're in their wooden houses. Here's the Sawadi Ampawa, which is another one of the homestays. And you can see the tide is coming in. So it's starting to get up on the uh, little footpath. And they have these closed up. So these businesses are closed, but uh, some of them are open. There's a business behind each of these. Here we got some little knick-knack souvenirs out of the coconuts. And this is really nice in the evening. It's cooler in the evening. And these, uh, the canal is quite, quite peaceful to just kind of walk along and uh, enjoy the evening. Of course, you got some of the big boats that are going out. So they go do the Firefly tour. And I've done the Firefly tours before. To me, it's not that exciting, but some people like it. I'm not gonna make a video of it because it's just, you can't really get it. Oh, so, hello. And this is a Chan Chale. Oh, this is really nice. Looks like there's quite a bit more behind there. So they have a, a coffee shop here with the lattes and the smoothies and little snacks. And then they even have a little museum, a little free museum. And you can go check it out. It has a couple little displays. It has like an old traditional house and some of the other stuff. And you can see this is a part of the neighborhood. So it has a little wooden walkway and you can see some of the other little bridges that go back. And they just live right here on the side of the canal. So here we got the boys uh, swimming. The guy just getting out. When you live next to a canal, this is what you do. Yeah, this is great. <laughs> boys will be boys. And here's the girls over here. We've got some uh, live music. And everybody out here just sitting on the uh, riverbank. Good way to eat some dinner. 
moved and you can see some more of the wooden houses here. There goes a tour out to uh, check out the fireflies. All right, and it looks like the tide has really started to come in. The footpath is starting to get underwater. It's starting to get late, so uh, I think we'll uh, go get one more snack and then uh, head back to Bangkok. So I have the footbridge lit up. Everybody's up here taking pictures. And you can see the floating market here at night. Quite a bit going on. Have one guy paddling. And some more of the floating market. Yeah, there's just so much to see here. You can easily spend half a day walking around. Definitely half a day if you do the boat tour and get some dinner and uh, do a lot of shopping. So there's something here for everybody. There's the souvenirs, there's snacks, there's regular food. Plus just walking around looking at uh, all the buildings and everything. Okay, so I think we're gonna get some of this Phnom uh, Pan, which is the Thai dessert. They do this uh, bread, then they'll put like the uh, pandaren, vanilla, strawberry, and they mix it up over there. And they have some of the other, like the little pancakes and stuff. But these are 10 baht and it's a nice little snack. So I think we're gonna get three of them. We're gonna get the, uh, this is the Thai tea, the strawberry, and the pandaren. So 30 baht, which is like a dollar for three of these. And you see it's steaming, so it's gonna be nice and hot. There's the pandaren, and then the, kind of the brown one is the Thai tea. All right, so that finishes up our video over here at Ampawa Floating Market. This is a great time. This is uh, about an hour and a half or so outside of Bangkok. Uh, pretty easy to get out here if you like uh, hire a taxi or a van or something like that. A lot of people do that. They hire a tour to bring you from Bangkok over to here. And uh, it's a great time. Uh, you can do a lot of stuff here. You can shop, you can uh, get snacks, you can take the boats. There's all kinds of stuff to do. Plus the area is very interesting. And getting out here, you go through all the like the palm plantations and banana plantations, all that stuff. So the scenery is pretty cool. The market is really nice and the food is excellent. So uh, if you like the video, make sure you click like and leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you think. If you've been here before, let me know. If you want to come out here, let me know. Or if you have any questions, I've been here a few times and uh, kind of familiar with what all that goes on out here. And uh, I also will uh, post in the description a uh, link to the video I made here from earlier where I took the boat tour. So if you want to see that, you can take a look at it. So yeah, if you want to know something, leave me a comment. And uh, until next time, remember, life is a journey. Enjoy. Enjoy.